Episode 9 of Dr. Cha begins with the long-awaited confrontation. It's been coming for a while and Zhang Suk takes her seat next to Inho and struggles to keep it together. There's an awkward birthday celebration, which brings back painful memories for Sung Hai, who happens to be watching all of this from the door. She suddenly receives a message from Un Seo and decides to leave, while Zhang Suk opens her gifts. Sung Hai weeps in the car on the way home, while Inho's gifts are up next. Zhang Suk takes a bouquet of flowers with a faint smile and breathes heavily. Eventually, she grabs her husband's head and sinks it into the cake. She starts laughing, telling Inho she's wanted to do this for a while and it's cathartic for her. Everyone is silent in the car on the way home, and when Injo tries to make small talk with his wife after turning on the radio, Jong Suk brings up how the songs she likes are similar to his ex, Sung Hai. Jong Suk does well to hold it together this long and in the end, she has Inho pull her over at the side of the road and she decides to walk home. With Jong Suk gone from the car, the others are worried and believe she may actually be aware of Inho's cheating after all. We know this to be the case and in fact, that night at home Jong Suk starts researching divorce lawyers. She takes the next step in the morning and heads to a consultation where the lawyer tells her she needs to find indisputable evidence of his affair in order to end this quickly and get favorable terms. There's no such thing as a clean divorce, she warns, as Zhang Suk starts to contemplate her options and wonders just how she's going to do this. It certainly helps that she's running, given she's training for a marathon, but she stops mid-run and looks over the bridge, pointing out to Roy when he heads over to check on her, that she's struggling and isn't sure what the purpose of anything is anymore. Roy, suggests she becomes a medical volunteer and join him as it could help clear her mind. However, before this happens Jong Suk gathers the whole family for a big meeting that night. She's leaving the house and is going to stay at the resident dorms. She speaks plainly to her kids and also to her mother-in-law too, telling them they'll all be okay and that she needs some time away. In Ho heads in while she's packing and tries to persuade her to stick around but she's made her mind up, especially as she's going right away and heading off to be a medical volunteer just like Roy suggested. And guess which room she ends up staying in at the dorms? Yep, it's the one directly opposite Dr. John. Jong Suk naturally gets involved, and there's a hilariously awkward encounter at the cafe when John meets Young Min only for Jong Suk to trail in behind them. Young Min is flustered and unintentionally shouts at his girlfriend before eventually scampering away. The medical volunteer session goes ahead, and the group prepares to leave the hospital. Naturally, Jong Suk can't think of anything worse than sitting next to her husband, and as fate would have it, despite picking a seat on her own, she ends up right next to Roy who arrives late. The trip then paves way for the group giving out their medical supplies, with Jong Suk showing off her beautiful human skills shining through. That's a direct contrast to In Ho who's very professional, to the point of feeling stifling and lacking that same human touch. Inho's mother meets with Sung Hai at the hospital, who's tellingly not one of the medical volunteers. A E Sim gives her a piece of her mind. Back with the medical volunteers for now though, and Inho is encouraged to head off for a road trip way out to where the village head is having issues with his bowel movements, or lack thereof. Inho works his magic, although his stomach is doing somersaults afterward and his clothes seem to reek too. While he's gone, Jong Suk ends up burning herself on food that night and Roy arrives to help with her burn. He encourages her not to bottle up her feelings and let them out, but when Inho comes back and questions what they're doing, Jong Suk hurriedly decides she's fine and leaves. Roy tips the bowl of water over Inho, who heads off to get changed. As Inho changes out of his doctor's robe, he leaves his phone behind and misses a call from Unesio. Sung Hai is not feeling very well and in fact, she's taken away in an ambulance. Inho is unaware of all of this, as he struggles to keep it together while sitting at a table featuring the two bickering department heads, Tae Sik and Jong Kwan, and Roy Kim. While he and Roy end up absolutely smashed off alcohol, Young Min and John take an opportunity to leave and head over to the bus stop together so they can talk privately. Whilst there, Young Min leaves his phone behind and when Dr. John picks it up and looks through the videos, she sees the whole family together at the birthday party. The secret is out now. And if that wasn't enough, back in the main area, drunk Roy and Inho end up doing karaoke together but after the song, Inho calls out to Jong Suk, calling her, honey, and asking her to come and join him for a song. Uh oh. If you like recaps hit the subscribe button for the best of TV series and movie recaps on AOB Twist.